Hello again, everyone. I'm Dr. George Simon, and welcome to another special edition of the new Character Matters program. This is the program where we talk about what I consider to be the defining issue of our time, the character crisis that has plagued us for several decades now, and that affects every aspect of our lives, all of our relationships, from our more global relationships, our political affairs, our community relations, and most especially, our intimate relationships. Wholesome relationships depend upon character. They always have, they always will. And at this time of the year, it's not uncommon for folks to reflect upon how things have transpired over the year and any missteps or errors of judgment or shortcomings that have caused some kind of pain or discomfort in the lives of others. And how we process those things has a lot to say about our character. Today, specifically, I want to talk about narcissists, folks with narcissism in their character of various types and degree, and it's important to remember that narcissism is a spectrum phenomenon, varying as to type and degree. But I want to talk about how narcissists typically process misdeeds, missteps, errors in judgment, personal shortcomings, and especially how they might process hurt that they might have caused another. Specifically, I want to talk about something that I've mentioned in many articles on my blog at drgeorgesimon.com and have written about extensively in all my books, especially my most recent book, namely the difference between regret, remorse, and contrition. Because understanding these concepts can really help you assess the condition of your relationship and the condition of someone's character with whom you might be in a relationship. Let's talk a little bit about regret. It actually derives from a word that has much to do with the personal cost of a behavior. You send your regrets, for example, when there is an event that you can't attend because you're already committed to another event at the exact same time, maybe even in the same uh, location. You can't be two places at once. So you have to turn down one invitation to take advantage of the other. And you send your regrets. So regret has to do with a personal loss, a cost to you. And some narcissists can actually feel regret when they do something that injures because it costs them. But regret is not the same thing as remorse, and it's certainly not the same thing as contrition. So let me move on to a discussion of those things. Remorse has to do with appreciating the injury that you've caused another and actually feeling some sorrow over it feeling more than regret, being sorry for the injury caused because you can appreciate the injury caused. And while there are a few narcissists of some types who can experience degrees of remorse, most narcissistic individuals don't experience much remorse, at least not enough remorse, to seriously consider changing their behavior. Last, we have the issue of contrition. An interesting word comes from a Latin word, means a crushed spirit. And this kind of internal response has to do with being crushed in your own spirit because of the heart crushing that you have caused in another. In short, you're heartbroken because of the heartbreak you've caused another. It's feeling pain in your own heart, 
being aggrieved precisely because of your understanding of the nature of the hurt and grief and pain and heartbreak that you have caused another. Your heart breaks because their heart is broken. And when something you care about has been broken and you have broken it, there is a natural urge, if you have character, any semblance of good character, to do the best you can at repairing the damage, putting the pieces together, taking full responsibility for it. And when it comes to the work of repair, the truly contrite person does so without a self-pity, without rationalization, without minimizing the seriousness of what they've done, and certainly without blaming another or even a part of the problem. They take full responsibility for the breakage and for the repair. Now, most narcissists, no matter what their type or how severely narcissistic they are, don't experience this. It's the true mark of the disturbed character, the impaired capacity for contrition, to suffer heartbreak precisely because and in line with the heartbreak you've caused another. I urge you to go to the website and read the several articles I've written on these things, because properly discerning what someone's professed sorrow or injury caused really represents is the truest test of a person's character. It will tell you how much hope there is for a relationship. So I hope you'll avail yourself of these uh, timely articles. And I hope that as you may reflect upon any injury that you may have caused, whether intentional or unintended, that you have room in your heart for true contrition, that you process the heartache within yourself for the heartache you may have caused another, and that you make some effort to repair the damage, even if that person doesn't respond like you hope. It's the wholesome character's obligation to repair what they broke. And I'll have more to say about these things in coming editions of the New Character Matters program. Until then, I'm Dr. George Simon. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.